Well, the Sac County Breeze is a newspaper that's published with the contributions of about 12 to 15 different high schools. Yeah, it's a student-produced newspaper. All the content comes from students, and students from all the participating schools contribute to it. Their work goes through our writing coaches who help them improve their work. The story is written by the student, then they have it edited by professional writing coaches, and then they're sent back to the student to actually change them and fix them. We put it in the breeze, and then it's distributed back to all the participating schools. The two past articles that I've written are focused about like different clubs or extracurricular activities we have on campus. Like for example, my first article was about our tennis team. And then the second article I just wrote about was our NJROTC program. So this spread is about my sister and I going to this concert and photographing the whole thing. I'm putting up a story that I actually wrote myself about the, the librarian just got a new order of books and I interviewed her about that, so I'm, I'm putting that up right now. I've been with the Sac County Breeze since the beginning. It's been around since 2009, so I was brought on as a faculty advisor. It's been a very exciting program. Almost eight years ago, we met with the Sacramento Bee and asked if they wanted to participate, and they said yes. Then we met with SCOE, and they said we'd like to be involved. So that's the main collaborative is the Bee and uh, SCOE. We're trying to target the kind of high-risk schools, which tend to be high-poverty schools that don't have programs, so the kids there have the same opportunities as they do in the other public schools. It's mostly made for students who have journalism programs that don't publish their own stuff. A student can be in a journalism program in high school, even college, and not go into journalism in a career, but it, it really lays the foundation for a lot of different types of careers you can do. The real purpose is to expose more students to the academic benefits of journalism. They're learning revision skills, writing skills, editing, grammar, but also knowing how to express themselves with the written word. I didn't know anything at first until my teachers helped me with it, like the writing techniques, but I didn't really understand how to do it until after I caught on and then I kind of just let it all out into a story. Well, the whole idea for students learning here in journalism is communication and being able to communicate and express themselves. In my English class, it has helped me with my writing, like for the article. I think what makes it different is that it's a collaboration paper, so thousands and thousands of other students are actually reading your story. Because like I said, a lot of students in this environment have not had that opportunity. So also learning about like different schools and what's happening on their campus, it's inspirational and informative of like the other schools in my community that I might not know of. You know, that's the real success is when the student gets something out of it. I feel like doing journalism in school and being a part of the Sacramento Breeze can help me get, you know, a journalism internship while I'm in college. It gives you an opportunity to talk about the situations and the issues that go on at the school. I really enjoy it because I feel like I can express a part of my community to other communities. And I know like my school might not have the best name or like the best reputation. And just like writing to show other people a little glimpse of what happens at Luther Burbank. Writing about my experiences helped me a lot because it showed me how motivated I am to achieve my goals. 